Here's another example using the cosine rule. We have to find a to one decimal place. And the formula we're given is this, cos a is that lot there. And you're normally given this on the formula sheet in the higher level paper. Uh, this type of problem doesn't occur in the foundation paper in GCSE. OK, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we can't use this formula as it is because it's got cos A. We want to make A the subject. So we've got to move it around for A. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to times both sides by 2BC. And that will get rid of it from this side. So let's do that. 2BC cos times cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus a squared. Now, I want to get a squared on its own. If I move this lot, I'll be left with minus a squared. So I'm going to move minus a squared by adding a squared to both sides. That will get rid of it from here, bring it to the other side. Keeps it positive. 2bc cos a plus a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Nearly there. Now if you look at this 2bc cos a, it's adding itself to a squared. So I can get rid of this, leaving a squared on its own, by subtracting 2bc cos a. So do that from both sides. So we're left with a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And that's the other way it might be seen in a formula sheet, what a squared is rather than what cos a is. Uh, as I say, you don't have to remember the formula, but you do need to know how to move these equations around. We've got one more step, because that's a squared, and what we actually want is a. So as it's a squared, we just square root both sides to give us a. It's always doing the opposite, really. So the opposite of a squared is square rooting. OK. Uh, one more thing before I use the calculator. I'll just put all the numbers in. a equals square root. And we just read it all off of here. That was b. 8 squared. And c, 7 squared minus 2 times b again, which is 8, times 7, times the cosine of 50 degrees. Now I'll use the calculator. OK, so with this, we can use the square root button to start with, and everything goes underneath that square root. So 8 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 8 times 7 times, and the cosine is there, cosine of 50. And you can just close that bracket. It's not really necessary. It would still work. And equals. 6.4 to one decimal place. So A equals 6.4 to 1 dp, one decimal place. Done. So use the, one last point, use the cosine rule when you've got this sort of setup or you've got all the sides. And you can't use the sign rule. The sign rule is um, a bit easier to use than this one. But for the sign rule, you must have an angle and its opposite side to establish the uh, relationship. OK, and I've got a video on that if you want to watch it. OK, so that's the cosine rule.